In Cloud Foundation, after creating workload domains, you deploy NSX Edge clusters to provide north-south routing and to enable additional networking-related services such as gateway firewall, network address translation, DACP, and load balancing. Edge clusters are a critical component when it comes to deploying Tanzu-based workloads on Cloud Foundation, as well as when creating application virtual networks or any type of custom routing topology needed in the private cloud. Fortunately, Cloud Foundation makes it easy to deploy edge clusters by providing advanced automation to facilitate the deployment, expansion, and shrinking of edge clusters. To deploy an edge cluster, navigate to workload domains and select the domain. We will be using the management domain in this example. Here, under edge clusters, we see that there are currently no edge clusters deployed. Switching to the NSX Manager UI, we see that the NSX inventory is currently empty. As part of the edge cluster deployment, we will instantiate a Tier 0 and Tier 1 router and configure a pair of redundant VLAN-backed uplink segments that will connect the Tier 0 router to the upstream network. In addition, we will enable dynamic routing using the Border Gateway Protocol. This will all be done from the SDC Manager. To add an edge cluster, we navigate back to the management domain in the SDC Manager where we click Actions and select Add Edge Cluster. There are several prerequisites that must be met. These include assigning a VLAN ID for the Edge Transport Node Tunnel Endpoint or TEP network. Note that this VLAN needs to be routable to the host TEP network. Having the Autonomous System Number or ASN and the corresponding BGP authentication information needed to pair with the upstream BGP neighbors. Updating DNS with the appropriate forward and reverse lookup records for the edge transport nodes. Acknowledge the prerequisites and click Begin. Start by assigning a name and IP address for the first edge transport node. Here the node name is mgmt edge01.vcf.stdc.lab. This node will be created in the vSphere cluster named mgmt cluster01 and assign the IP address of 10.0.0.51. Next, we configure the tunnel endpoint addresses. Here we are using the VLAN 1252 and have assigned the TEP addresses 192.168.52.10 and 11. We then configure the two uplinks. For the first uplink, we will use VLAN 2081 and assign the IP address 192.168.16.2. For the second uplink, we will use the VLAN 2082 with the IP address 192.168.17.2. Note that both uplinks are configured to peer with the upstream BGP service using the autonomous system number 65001. After adding the first edge node, we repeat these steps to add the second edge node. The second node will be named mgmt-edge02.vcf.stdc.lab. The test for this node will be 192.168.52.12 and 13. For the first uplink, we use the same VLAN with the IP 192.168.16.3. And again, for the second uplink, the same VLAN, but this time the IP is 192.168.17.3. Here again, both uplinks are configured to peer with the upstream BGP service using ASN 65001. After adding both transport nodes, review the configuration, and when ready, click Next. A series of checks are then performed to validate the configuration that was provided. Once the validation completes successfully, click Finish to begin the deployment. In the SDC Manager, a workflow is invoked. This workflow automates the steps to create and configure the edge cluster. At a high level, these steps include deploying the two edge transport nodes, creating the NSX edge cluster, configuring the VLAN-backed uplink segments, configuring the Tier 0 and Tier 1 logical routers, and configuring the route propagation with BGP. Here we see the deployment of the edge cluster has completed successfully. From the vSphere client, we can now see a resource pool that has been created in the cluster for our management domain. 
This resource pool contains the two edge transport nodes. In the NSX Manager UI, we now see a Tier 0 and Tier 1 router along with the two uplink segments. From the topology view, we can view the network topology associated with our newly deployed edge cluster. Navigating to the Tier 0 router, we can view the configuration to include validating the BGP route propagation by verifying the connectivity state of the upstream BGP neighbors. Returning to the STDC manager, we now see the edge cluster is shown in the UI with a status of active. In this video, we saw how Cloud Foundation, using the automation built into the STDC manager, makes it easy to get started with VMware NSX by making it easy to deploy NSX edge clusters. Edge clusters are a critical component to the private cloud as they provide centralized north-south routing as well as enable other NSX network-related services for the deployed workload domains. To learn more about VMware Cloud Foundation, visit the Cloud Foundation Resource Center at core.vmware.com.